Hi Vogue Beauty Secrets, I'm Emmy, and I'm gonna walk you through my morning routine. In the shower, I use Living Proof Perfect Hair Day in Shower Styler. I went through years of using 15 different products to try to get the perfect curl cocktail to only come down to, this is the one product that works for me. And I'm gonna use this microfiber towel. This is the diffuser attachment that I use. I travel with it, it's really good. What I love about curly hair, I think that it projects a confidence. For so many years, I straightened my hair, I keratined my hair, I would flat iron and blow dry and try to kind of contort this into a different ideal of beauty. And finally kind of embracing my natural hair is something that now makes me feel so unique. My next step is skincare. I'm very much an inside out kind of person. I am going to start by hydrating with water. I'm gonna use this element packet. I'm gonna start with Is Clinical Firming Copper Mist. I like this to refresh makeup. I like it, uh, I like it on the beach. I like it anytime you just feel like you need to reset Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. Next, I'm going to use the Hydrocool Serum from Is Clinical. Having clear skin and having hydrated skin just really makes me feel confident, um, way more than even makeup. I would say I wash my face and do a nighttime routine every single night. There's probably only one night in my entire life that I didn't do it, and I think it was the night I went into labor. This is a hydrating serum from my facialist in LA, Shani Darden, and I like to pat things in. I have a facial steamer. Um, I have little tiny lances. I've got little medical things so I can do my own extractions. I have peels, uh, after peels. I've got masks. I really like skincare. This is a Sisley Fluid Eye Contour. This is a Neck Complex by Is Clinical, and I have to be honest, I'm really obsessed with neck skin. This is a Sisley Primer of sorts. The most important piece of any skincare routine is SPF. This is Isda Nactinica. Now we are done with our skincare and we're gonna move on to a little bit of makeup. I use this Sisley foundation. I do not use foundation every day, but if I have a Zoom meeting or I'm going out to dinner or a business lunch. I do like a little bit, or if I just have a little bit of extra time. Sometimes I just like to swipe it on. This one's also super, super lightweight, so it doesn't really feel like anything. This is a Kosas concealer, and this is a Kevin O'Quinn concealer. I like to mix them. I'm not gonna cover my blue line. My blue line is something that my husband really loves. We, we met making a movie together. He was the director. Um, and he would never allow them to put concealer on that part of my eye because he said it looked real and authentic. And in fact, him loving that about me made me love that about me. In terms of learning to do makeup, I have pretty much been doing it since I'm a very, very young kid because I started as a theater performer, performing at the opera when I was seven years old. So sometimes we used to have to do like almost real pancake, like stage makeup. This is a Jillian Dempsey lid tint and I'm mixing a pink and a more brownie brown. What I like about creams is you kind of can't mess them up. On the red carpet, I will do just about anything. I love classic makeup. I love big, bold colors on um, the mouth. I like playing with different eye shapes. I used to feel also that you couldn't wear curly hair with 
kind of more bold makeup or even prints. I love to wear prints, big, bold, colorful prints. And I just thought it was all just like too much, too loud, too aggressive. Now I actually think of it as kind of whimsical, playful, energetic. Charlotte Tilbury pencil it's called Dark Pearl. This is the Shuamora eyelash curler. Next up is mascara. Um, I would say that mascara is probably something I do every day. And this is a really cool mascara. I've used this for a couple years. It's a twist brush. So I like to do two coats only on the top and I do one coat straight and then one coat curly. This is a Benefit bronzer. I really like kind of more matte products. I find that anything with kind of iridescence, those little particles tend to make me break out. This is something that I've been using for probably 20 years. This is the Chanel blush. I think I use this on Mystic River. I like the apples of the cheek to be pinker. Brows are something I really care about. I've had to bleach, shave, tweeze, do all kinds of things to my eyebrows. My eyebrows are back, they're happening. I'm just gonna go in and use this tiny pencil right there. I just like to fill in that hole. I went through a phase where I would really fill it all in and they just looked like two crazy Legos on my face. and. Wasn't that cute? This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. One of the coolest things about the job that I get to do is the incredibly talented artists that I work with. And I love getting to work with a hair and makeup, prosthetics and costume team on the show that I just finished, Angeline. Um, it's a full transformation. I'm aging a lot in both directions. And then it's a lot on your skin to have prosthetics on every day. Some days I would sit in the chair three hours, some days was seven hours, and some days it was absolutely none of me. Two sets of contact lenses, an absolute like 15 pieces on my face, always a wig, a neck piece, um, prosthetic breasts. Lips is the last thing, Lisa Eldridge pencil. I don't like an overlined mouth. Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I have used this forever. This is a rouge palette. My last step, I really care about how things smell. A little spritz of perfume. This is Vanilla Del Madagascar. I've, again, been using this 10 or 15 years. I don't like a lot. I like to do a step through. I really just like to smell like a sweet cookie. That's our finished look, and now we're ready to start our day. So, much love.